Okay, thank you, Papa. Thank you. Yeah, namaste. namaste. Hello, <laughs> nice to meet you all again. And uh, thank you for having me for this uh, live sharing session. And yeah, I was told by Sir Jaga, our Cal India director, that uh, the India coronavirus uh, cases is increasing. So it seems like a lot of people are uh, having depression because of losing their job and then financially, uh, yeah, problem and uh, loneliness. So, so guess a lot of people need some uh, help to get out of the, uh, from this depression problem. So Sir Jaga suggested me to see whether any food that can uh, cheer people up or any tips that can uh, get people happy, happier. <laughs> so yeah, here I am today that uh, I will share little tips where uh, I, uh, I hope it helps to at least to cheer you up during this uh, pandemic problem. So anyway, we all believe this will soon, this will any, uh, anyway, it will, uh, it will pass. This pandemic, one day it will pass. So uh, wow. Uh, so, so it means during this time, what we can do is uh, stay strong and then cheer, cheer ourselves up with some, um, some diet tips. Okay, so well, before I start sharing about little tips on uh, the, the food, what kind of food that can uh, get you happier. So before that, let's uh, see how is everyone doing in India or how is everyone doing in, uh, in the world, even in Malaysia. So definitely in Malaysia, our case uh, of coronavirus is, uh, is under control. So thankful, <laughs> we are thankful for that. So uh, yeah, all right. So let's see the, what is happening uh, worldwide with this coronavirus problem. So, okay, so starting from, uh, we can see from the statistic, it shows that, it shows that uh, about 2000, okay, there is a survey uh, asking about 2000 youngster and ask them, what are they, uh, how are they feeling during this pandemic? And you can see from the chart here, the red color and the pink color, that is almost 80%, huh? almost 80% of the youngster now are feeling depressed or they feel much worse during this pandemic, which means it will be a dangerous sign that people may fall into uh, the, the depression. Uh, illness problem, a medical condition, the depression. So, so this, yeah, so Jaga, you are picking the right time. We, we really need to start uh, talking about mental health. We really need to start taking care of the people, our, uh, the, uh, especially Kelly India, the members, uh, to really start taking care of our mental health. It's not only our body health, all this while we are talking about how to uh, take care of our heart, our joint, our bone, but really it's time to take care of our mental health as well. So I hope after this session, everyone at least uh, you will have a, a new hope for this new norm. And yeah, you will feel more confident to face uh, the upcoming challenges, okay? So, uh, well, as you can see from this, is uh, during this pandemic, the people, people are feeling uh, uh, the, the security of, uh, uh, like, uh, they will feel less secure because of uh, decreased job security and promote, uh, this pandemic also promotes social withdrawal. So people tend to stay at home and lack uh, meeting up people because, yeah, social distance. I think India is pretty, practicing social distance, right? And uh, so that's why a lot of people are facing a loneliness, a serious loneliness problem. Mm, so, okay, but luckily we have this Zoom, Zoom sharing session. So I hope with this Zoom session, at least you can, uh, not, not getting so bored, uh, yeah, just staying at home, at least you are joining some activity. Even joining this uh, Zoom sharing session, it can be a, another a way to brighten up your day. Okay, and also people are might uh, uh, now uh, during this pandemic they will have uh, decreased financial security and fear for loved one life. Yeah, fear of the loved one uh, around whether they uh, will be uh, uh, affected by this coronavirus anytime. So increased uh, health anxiety. So these are the uh, some issues uh, that uh, that uh, affect the mental health, that which may uh, cause people to uh, have the depression problem. So yeah, this uh, pandemic, COVID-19, people, uh, again, th these are the, if you, if you take note or if you try to pay attention to how people react 
okay, if you're able to meet them. So most of people, uh, in fact, they are, they, they are less cheerful. And uh, when you happen to meet somebody, when you're asking them, how are you? So if they answer, they are fine. It is not necessary they are really fine because uh, those who are feeling depressed, they won't, usually they won't say they are depressed. And uh, yeah, they hardly, uh, uh, even they themselves uh, didn't know that they are in a depression problem or they didn't really express a lot. So uh, even they say fine, there will be like a lot of negative emotions in, in the body. Like uh, they will feel useless or broken or feeling lonely, rejected, defeated. So a lot of negative emotions uh, that is happening uh, in the people around you, your friends, your families. So next time uh, when you're... Uh, when you're asking your friends, your family and friends, uh, asking them, uh, how are you? So when they are saying fine, which is not necessary, they are fine. So you may need to do further uh, communication with them. You may need to talk further with them. And then also you may uh, use the tips later on, which I will suggest uh, to everyone here, using the diet tips, some sort of food. There are some certain of food that can cheer people up. So yeah, instead of just asking people, how are you? And then they say fine. Then, so that is not really uh, being very helpful as a friend or as a family member to, uh, yeah, to 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 comfort uh, the people around you. So there are some food that we can suggest to them. So just hold on. We are very very soon. We are going uh, going to that point. So yeah, the another sign by uh, signs and symptoms of uh, depression. People that you can uh, also pay attention. Can pay attention to your friends and family members see whether they are starting having the angry outbursts or weight gain or weight loss okay that one is not so uh not, not so obvious that we uh, link to the depression but angry outbursts or withdrawing from close friends and family yeah they, they start to like uh, refuse to talk to you more they tend to uh they tend to do things alone uh, rather than uh, be uh, actively uh, talking to you. So there is also a, a symptoms of they are uh, feeling depressed or they are not participating in the hobbies or they used to uh, they used to like to watch a drama or they like to watch a TV series. But during this pandemic, they might not find all these TV series interesting anymore. They might not even bother to watch TV or listen to music. So those hobbies that... Uh, they used to love to follow, but during this pandemic, they tend to lose interest. So this is also a sign that they start to feel uh, depressed, more and more depressed. So it's something we need to start taking action to help them out, or even ourselves. If you find that uh, nothing in uh, not, nothing excites us anymore, I mean, we, we might find no uh, getting bored and bored. So it also we need to search certain of food that can also boost up our mood okay so our skipping work school social things not taking care of appearance or hygiene reckless behavior so these uh yeah these are the symptoms of signs and signs of uh, depression of people having depression so um yeah i believe uh, people who are joining us today you concern about mental health not necessarily means that you are having depression, not necessarily, but you concern, you care about your mental health. You, you, it, it is very uh, important to, uh, to take care of your mental health because with our mental health, we can stay positive no matter what happened. And uh, with the, a good mental health, we will eventually have a better immune system and the total overall health. So yeah, thank you for joining uh, this sharing session, which it may influence a lot of the people around you. It may impact to more people uh, to, to get a healthier life as well. So, okay. Um, all right. So if not taking any action to, uh, to overcome those symptoms and signs, so the effects of, on, the, uh, on the body from depression, it can be, okay, as, as you can see over here, so people will start to uh, feel uh, hard to fall asleep. So insomnia problem, headache, fatigue, chronic pain, so if you always hear the people around you uh, complaining about uh, the pain, uh, chronic pain, not necessarily they have the joint pain or bone pain. It might be the, because of they are having depression or mental health problem. So, so that kind also is an uh, effect.
So uh, yeah, we have to like further uh, investigate. Then only we know that the pain is from uh, is from really from the bone, or in fact, is from the mental health problem. Okay, so the depression may uh, it, uh, can cause the diarrhea or constipation problem. Yeah, a lot of uh, people who are feeling depressed, they, they can't really go to the toilet every day smoothly. So this is also a sign. Okay, if, uh, and inflammation, increased risk of heart disease, weight loss or gain, nausea, loss of libido. Okay, those, so this will affect a lot in the, the family. Uh, the ma those who are married. So if you find that your husband or your wife uh, getting less uh, interest or lost interest on uh, having the bait activity with you, so this also, it might, it, it doesn't mean that uh, your husband or wife doesn't love you anymore. It doesn't mean that, it's not necessarily meaning that. It might be because of he or she is having this depression problem. So so yeah, so that's why uh, what, what you need to do is communication to talk, uh, yeah, just not asking a very surface thing like, how are you, okay? Because fine, it doesn't mean really you're fine. So you have to, yeah, really have to uh, understand and then uh, talk further, communicate more frequently, uh, care about uh, the he or she more. And then most importantly, the diet itself is really can play a very important role that can uh, get them out from this depression. And of, yeah, so later on, I will share the tips very soon. We will go to that point already. Okay, so um, yeah, so do you do you notice that um, when you are feeling stressful or if you are feeling tired, feeling stressful or feeling, yeah, so the you, you tend to like doing such thing like, you you know, you, you tend to press the, the place, uh, the eyebrow and the nose in between, there is the, the place here. So you tend to do this wire. Okay, in fact, when you do this, you'll feel uh, more relaxed, right? And you'll feel better, right? Uh, after uh, feeling stressful, uh, after a stressful work. So once you press this, so it automatically you will feel more relaxed, more calm and uh, happier. And why? Uh? Well, is there any <laughs> scientific proof that, in fact, okay, this place is near to a place it's called pituitary gland. So this is a gland where it uh, secret, or we can call it some uh, central nervous system in the brain, in the brain that uh, secret a lot of uh, the happy hormones, or happy chemicals. Where, so meet your happy chemicals. There are four happy chemicals, which is released from the brain. So dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphin. So these four miracle happy, uh, these four miracle chemicals that makes you happy. So whether you are feeling happy or not, in fact, depend a lot on whether your brain releasing enough of these chemicals or not. So now you get, so now at least you know that there is a, yeah, that is when you press this, yeah, which near to the pituitary gland. In fact, it's like a gravy way or it's like stimulate, stimulate the gland to, 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 in, to produce or to secrete more happy hormones. So this is only one, uh, one part of it. Uh, of course, it doesn't last long like, because when you are not pressing for long, for, for long hour, right? You just press one to, just one to two seconds. So just for a temporarily uh, stress release. So which of course, what I'm, I would like to share to you is where uh, the tips which can help you for uh, sustainable uh, happiness, which yeah, I can help you throughout a life, to, uh, especially to overcome this coronavirus pandemic. So yeah, these four happy chemicals. So, okay, let me just uh, briefly let you see these four happy chemicals. So let me start from oxytocin, okay. Besides uh, pressing here, like really stress, okay, because of uh, uh, close to pituitary gland in the nervous system, in the central nervous system, so it, uh, it will secrete the happy hormones. So there is another way, there is another way, like hugging, hugging, hugging with somebody. So this close contact, hugging, is also will automatically, your brain will automatically release the happy hormone called oxytocin. Okay, so hugging, also will release stress, will, will, will cheer you up. Okay, another uh, happy hormone is dopamine. So dopamine, dopamine is a 
happy hormone that when you get appreciated uh, at, at work or at home, like when like after you have cleaned up the, the home, so your family member found that, wow, the, 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 home, the, the house is so clean. So that kind of, once you are getting appreciation, so you feel accomplished and you feel good, so your brain automatically also will release this dopamine. Okay, so this dopamine is uh, the, 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 this is the things that, that you will feel good, okay? And laughter is a good way of generating endorphins. So when you laugh, when you watch comedy, when you watch comedy and you have a joke, you joke around with your close friend. So laughter, yeah, laughter is also uh, making you feel good. Why? Because when you laugh, your brain, you start generating the happy hormone called endorphin. Okay, it's one of the four uh, happy hormones. And the last one, the happy hormone called serotonin. So when we transcend ourselves and give back to others, so, so to nature or to society, it releases serotonin. So it's a happiness hormone. Serotonin, uh, where another way of, uh, is over, uh, there, there is also, um, okay, there is one, uh, uh, there, uh, there is one way a lot of people also, I think, uh, come across with this, which is, uh, when you're feeling down, or when your girlfriend or when your wife is feeling down. So a lot of men, what they are doing is they will go and buy chocolate, chocolate, right? Okay, to uh, as a treat, as a treat uh, for the, their girlfriend or for their wife. So yeah, in fact, chocolate, jo chocolate did help as well to help your brain to release the dopamine, which is one of the happy hormone. So anyway, so what now? So you know, now at least you know, uh, in order to get happy, in order to feel happier during this pandemic, so you have to make sure your brain is releasing these four hormones, okay? It's these four hormones, okay? These four, dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphin. So where uh, uh, dopamine is uh, indicate the reward uh, hormone and oxytocin is the love hormone, serotonin, uh, yeah, just when you hug, okay, but but you can't hug all the day. But if yeah, it will be good if you have somebody beside you during this pandemic because the hug and the comfort is really being very helpful for those who are feeling depressed. So there is no doubt it's one of the best medicine, hugging. Okay, so after listening to this, I guess uh, uh, people in the Zoom now is hugging with the people beside you, please, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so yes, oxytocin is releasing when you're hugging people, and the serotonin is a calm uh, hormone, and endorphin is the willpower, willpower hormone. So, okay, after talking this, after knowing this four hormone is our mission of today, which is, we hope, we want to, uh, uh, we want to find the way how we can increase, or we can let our brain to, release more happy hormone. How? What we can do, okay, besides those like hugging uh, or uh, chocolate or uh, the, the few tips that I mentioned just now. So that is one happy button the, in your body, okay, that when you just press it, then it can release four, the four hormones you know, flashing out, okay? So this uh, happy button is, in your brain. So yeah, this hypothalamus, pituitary gland, or we call it a central nervous system in the brain. So, so once we press it, so once we press it, it will automatically release the four happy hormones. So well, the thing is we can't use our finger to press it, right? So what we can, uh, what uh, we can uh, activate the button of the happiness, the button of the happy hormone machine in the brain is we can use the power of herb, okay? The power of Ayurvedic herb. Okay, there are a lot of research showing, okay, uh, Ayurvedic herb can act as a stimulant that stimulate the happy button in the brain to release the four hormones, the four happy hormones endorphin, serotonin. So let me show you uh, the two common, the most common uh, or the most two most uh, popular Ayurvedic herb that can, that can act like a happy button, okay? So the so first one is uh, Gotu Kola. So this Gotu Kola, 
is one type of Ayurvedic herb. So it can improve the brain and memory function, okay? So this is one of the research is say, it proved that uh, this Ayurvedic herb, got to call up, it helps to uh, improve the cognitive function, cognitive function, uh, like uh, reading or analyzing or memory uh, to reduce anxiety, to overcome stress. So these are all uh, considered cognitive function. So um, yeah, this will be the uh, one of the hook, Ayurvedic hook can activate the happy button in your brain. And the second Ayurvedic hook that can also activate the happy button in your brain is called, as you can see from the, uh, from the screen here, it's called Shang Push P. It's, it's Ayurvedic hook, okay, in India. So you, yeah, I can say that India, people living in India is, is very lucky because you are, you are uh, being blessed with a, um, with a world uh, with the world class and the world most uh, helpful herb for uh, for for the uh, yeah ha which has a lot of healing properties. So these are the two uh, beside the gotukola and the shang. So now this shang kushpi is another one, another Ayurvedic herb which is scientifically proven very helpful for the uh, the brain function, the mental health. So okay, so this will be uh, another study saying that it's a herb in uh, traditional Ayurvedic medicine, then the use is to treat uh, stress and mood disorder. Whether you are feeling down uh, for no reason, if you are feeling down for no reason, please get this herb, okay? Because it might be because of your uh, uh, physiologically uh, problem uh, of facing this uh, stress, okay? So it is also useful as a cognitive enhancer, and uh, yeah, it can, because of it contain the alkaloid flavonoid, okay, on all these uh, plant steroid flavonoid. So it that's why it boosts up your mood, okay. So these two herbs, just take take note. Uh, these two herbs, gotukola and this shankuspi is uh, shankuspi is, uh, which is available in India in uh, India. Okay, so. <clears throat> Well, there is, uh, when you talk about herb, when we talk about herb, okay, so uh, there is something I want you guys to uh, take note on. Uh, herbs is, we, no doubt herb is, uh, since ancient is uh, helping a lot of people getting back their health. But also there is one concern is about the heavy metal contamination. A lot of herbs which without proper process that will may link to a liver problem as well. So please be careful with your herb selection. So well, what I'm uh, I can suggest you to get a safe, the safe, uh, the most, uh, the safest uh, uh, herb selection collection. You can get it from this Ayurveda, which is uh, called Kemem. So Kemem is an Ayurvedic herb. It's an uh, is uh, produced from a, a factory which is recognized by WHO, GMP certified, and ISO FDA. So it. So this group is 100% safe for, for you to use even in long term. There is no side effect. So it is one of the uh, most studied uh, uh, clinically proven herbs that you can feel safe and is very uh, effective. And this herb, as you can see, the ingredient, so the two main ingredient of the KMM is uh, like what I mentioned just now, is the gotukola and also the uh, the the, the Shankush P. Okay, these two main ingredients, which is mainly good to make you feel good and yeah, feel good and uh, get happier. So it's uh, it consists in uh, in every capsule of Kemem. So these two herbs is a uh, is one of the tips that I can share to you today to get yourself happier to make your people around you happier. Okay, another thing is another question that uh, I uh, always uh, being asked is uh, what kind of food. Besides, uh, this herb is one of the uh, uh, the the quickest the quickest uh, way and fastest way easiest way also uh, You just pop the herb in and yeah, it's, you will feel you can sleep better, less stress, feel calmer and more confident. So that's easy, right? That's easy one. That is one of the tip. So another another question is talking about the daily diet. So for uh, how about the daily diet? What should you eat? Any any food that can boost up the mood. Boost up our mood, okay. As you can see here, you can see, uh, yeah, in in chocolate, uh, milk, orange, okay, salmon, spinach, 
okay? So fiber. So these are the food. In fact, when you're feeling down, please don't eat other, but eat this. Definitely you will feel good for long. For You can sleep better. So try to avoid coffee, caffeine. Uh, yeah, because coffee, it will like temporarily uh, uh, make you feel uh, more, uh, um, I mean, some, some of the coffee which has high caffeine level, it might be uh, disturbing your uh, sleeping pattern. But yeah, so it's uh, depend on individually. But you, yeah, so uh, it will be better for those who are having this uh, emotion or the mood uh, down problem, then I will suggest you to focus on three nutrient since there are so many food that you might not able to eat all at once so i will uh i will guide you i will, I will suggest you three main uh, nutrient the first one is essential fatty acid like omega-3 dha epa the second one is calcium make sure every day you are having enough of calcium and the last one is fiber where the yeah fiber yes in fact fiber. okay i, I will sh I will tell you why this nutrient is more, more important for you to boost up your mood and how they can boost up your mood. So starting from, um, I think starting from, okay, fatty acid, omega-3 fatty acid, essential fatty acid, omega-3. So there are a lot of studies showing low level, but if you eat less fish, if you seldom take fish, or if you seldom seldom take uh, flaxseed or walnut or good, uh, good nuts, if you, so don't take all this. So you tend to feel depressed easier. So now please recall if your diet is lacking of this or so it's time for you to make sure you take enough of uh, oily fish or if you are vegetarian, you can uh, opt for the, like, the, uh, the flaxseed or almond. So, uh, but if you are the one that like most of the people who might not able to wash out their daily diet more, might not to uh, take care of their daily diet uh, in a disciplined way. So I would suggest you to get this uh, a supplement, which is uh, consists of uh, flaxseed. So in Kaling, there is a supplement which is hundred percent a percent made of uh, a flaxseed that is called Keflex. So you can uh, use supplement as a way that supplement your uh, yeah the 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 the. Uh, your deficiency of uh, omega-3 in your daily diet. If you are not eating fish every day, if you are not taking the nuts every day, then you should you should uh, start taking this supplement, which is you don't have any excuse. That is the easiest way. If you can't, if you, the supplement also, if you can't take it, but if, there is no way that can help you from the, out from this depression, you know, because that is the easiest way already. So just do something that can, uh, yeah, as a self-care. Okay, the second one is calcium. So yes, a lot of study also saying that depression is also due to calcium deficiency. So it's, that's why a lot of elderly, uh, those who are already above 60 years old, uh, where they tend to have a uh, uh, lack of calcium, the calcium loss is more severe uh, among the elderly problem, uh, among elderly. So they are not only facing the uh, bone problem. In fact, elderly also is having a lot. Uh, this a uh, depression problem because of calcium deficiency. So, so if you are not drinking enough uh, every day, if you are not having the habit of drinking milk, then I would suggest you uh, to uh, to start uh, adopt this uh, lifestyle, uh, uh, this diet, because uh, by getting a right uh, source of uh, milk is very crucial for you to get enough of calcium. Uh, okay, so what I can suggest you from here is uh, those who are not uh, who are not getting uh, the right source of calcium. Yes, I would suggest here is KCal Plus from Kelly. So because KCal Plus, once a share of KCal Plus, it has uh, one thousand two hundred milligram of calcium. So which is just match what you need every day. So one one adult uh, an adult need at least 1,200 milligram of calcium every day. So, so, if, uh, so I would suggest you to take KCAL Plus as a way to make you feel more calm. Yes, true. Calcium will calm your nerve. So it's especially good for those who are not, uh, who, who can't sleep well at night. As very, yeah, those who are already above 60 years old, if you are uh, having prostate problem, for example, yeah, usually prostate problem, it will cause the, uh, the, 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 the guy uh, need to go to the toilet uh, during the midnight, so which disturbing their sleep. So once you can't sleep well, then depression problem is have 
happy uh, will happen easily. So so yeah, try drink, just drink K Cal Plus before sleep. It will give you a deeper sleep. And once once you can sleep well, well, depression problem or your mood will automatically getting much much better the next morning. What if you are not sleeping well? So the next day usually you won't you won't feel good. You will feel messy. You'll feel stressed. So sleep, sleep well is the, the is the first thing first to help anyone who is having depression or who is have feeling down. Okay, so yeah, calcium you can get it from uh, KK Plus. And the last one, the last one, the last food that I uh, want to mention to you guys is about fiber. So well, fiber we know that it's good for our bowel movement. It's more for our digestive system. So well, in fact, digestive system. It, it, if with a good digestive system, which means what every day you have, you can go to toilet to pass motion, which means this digestive system able to release uh, one happy hormone. Yeah, I want to mention here that is one happy hormone, which is not only released from brain, that it also can release from the intestine, the digestive system, the gut health, which is called serotonin. So this serotonin, so once your gut health is healthy, it will be also released from your digestive system. So you see, there is another uh, source. So you are not depending on brain only, although brain is the one of the main happy button, but they, the digestive system is also, is another source for you to get your happy hormone. So make sure every day you get enough of fiber, which means what, three serving of vegetables and two servings of fruits at least this is at least every day if you can't commit yourself if you are not disciplined enough so i would suggest you to take supplement so i would suggest you kelling has a fiber a very a fantastic fiber is called biofiber so one scoop about more than three grams of fiber so you can supplement your daily diet so you can pass motion you can get enough fiber for a healthy uh, digestive system so in short this is a conclusion a quick supplement tips for you to get happy uh, in the fastest way, so in the easiest way. So yeah, if you're lazy to do any other thing, so just take this supplement, which you can, you might find is um, make your life so much uh, better. Okay, you just try uh, starting from morning, two capsules of camera, and then after that, drink one glass of biofiber, and afternoon, two caps of camera, and uh, two, uh, two caps of Caflex which is the flaxseed oil uh, supplement. And at nighttime, also two cap of cap K, uh, mam, and then one glass of k class before sleep for the calcium intake. Okay, so this is uh, the quick supplement tips to get happy. And uh, yeah, on, uh, uh, along with this, uh, the supplement, so I will advise everyone is uh, make uh, try to avoid uh, like uh, the, the alcohol, because uh, try to limit it, okay? You can drink it, but limit it because alcohol, it also, it may disturb the sleeping pattern in the long run. It may affect the sleeping pattern. One or two sip uh, occasionally should, is, is fine, okay? As long as things make you feel good. But if long run, it might disturb your sleeping pattern. And uh, especially when you are already having the depression problem. So, and then exercise, yeah, exercise can really uh, improve your blood circulation. And also, yeah, uh, what, what you can do is make sure you can sleep well every day. So if you can sleep well, please follow these quick uh, supplement tips that you may uh, find it helpful to help you uh, sleep better. Okay, so that's all for my uh, sharing, uh, leader sharing, leader sharing for Kelly India. I hope uh, you guys, uh, uh, get happy, get happier after this. Thank you.